the uh, half inch bolt and the uh, 3 8 by 2 and 3 quarters. The other side of the lift where the cables, uh, cable tube we call it, the 2 by 4 tube, and uh, it's got some 11 16 holes drilled in the, uh, in the top and bottom. But before we can do that, we need to slide. There's a column clamp. We're going to slide over the column, and it's going to dead end. Some of your clamps may or may not have that hole there. There's no reason. If there's no hole in here, there's no reason to drill it. There's a, it kind of stops. There's a machine area in the back side, so it can only go down so far. So no need for a hole there. I can probably show you a little bit better on the back side on this one. There's a couple of beads on the column, and they're, the only reason they're there is we machine these down, and they act as a positive stop for the column clamp. So there's no reason to put a, a bolt through there. And the good thing is about this, if you ever put a canopy on, the canopy legs are going to drop in. There'll be nothing internally to uh, interfere with that. So that's all you need right there. When I'm putting this tube on by myself, I kind of cheat a little bit. I'll use, they use a 3 8 by 3 bolt up here. I'll put, uh, I'll put one just like that. And then I'll put the tube up here, and this kind of holds the tube in place. So I can go up to the other side. Go ahead and tighten those down and uh, we'll go on to the carriage after this. I am using uh, vinyl bunks that come with a lift. If you got a pontoon rack, you could lay the 2x10s out. You need something going front to back so you can sit the carriage on it. I'm using the vinyl bunks because they're handy, they're here, and it's more than likely the end user is going to have them too. So I got a vinyl bunk kind of spaced out towards the outer edges and you want to do it on the outer edges uh, and then I laid the twin beams you got the front twin beam and you've got the rear twin beam on the left the difference is that the rear twin beam has two pulleys two shivs in each end and the front one has one also you need to know that um, on the front the stud end uh, the cable is going to be going up passing in the tube here so that's the direction this goes also these holes here are not drilled on the other side so if you were to flip it around by mistake there'd be no way to bolt the slower flange and uh, the same thing's true here you have holes drilled here but there's none drilled on the other side so you can't I mean you can flip it around but it wouldn't bolt up so it kind of forces you to bolt it up the right way so I've got the twin beams where they belong. I've got the front one, I've got the rear one. And the front to back members, I call them, there's going to be a left and a right. The left one by the winch should have a winch marked on the plate. It should be winch marked on here. But uh, the front to backs, you're going to have the larger plate on the top, the smaller plate on the bottom. 
the uh, and what you're going to want to do is can you just put these together like it's going to go together for right now anyways this is going to any any of the long studs goes up any of the short ones go down When you move these two parts together, this is going to have to go through this hole. There's a hole in this plate and there's a hole in the tube. They kind of mate together. And pull the cable up like that. Same thing through over here. Actually, the short cable, the short part of the cable is going down. The cable here is going to want to go through the uh, hole. There's two parts made together. It's going to be going up. It's got the long fitting on it. This one's also going to be going up. It's got a long fitting on it. And I think I need to do this one yet here too. Long fitting goes through the hole that those two parts form. There parts are where they belong and next I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we're going to want to fasten the uh, the short fitting here and they won't come with a, a bolt on it like that there or not. What I like to do is pull these, pull the short fittings out so you can get at them. You won't have it on it like that. And then you may want to get it a little closer. The cable drops down where you see a hole lined up. In this case, it's going to be going on the inside. You don't want to put it here because it's not lined up. The cable, if you follow the cable straight down, it goes into that hole there. And then I got to thread it out here to put a nut on it. It's just going to be easier for me to put a nut on the backs here outside as opposed to laying on my back trying to do it. So, this is something I learned from my son. He, uh, he was putting it together and I looked at him one day and I'm going, why don't I do that? You're going to need a 5 8 uh, nut to go on the short fitting on the bottom. I got it out of the frame bag. You'll have to open that up. And that's the same bag that has caps and stuff in it. And you're going to want to bottom this, uh, five, this 5 8 nut right out as far as it will take you. And I use like a 9 16 wrench. You could use a crescent wrench on these flats too. on all the short fittings there's going to be four of them this short fitting there's going to be one on each corner and uh, you're going to have one on this corner and they're going to be on the hole nearest to the column and one on the uh, rear corner to the winch column it'll be closest to the column and on the front of the left cable that's coming down is coming front to back member so that's going to utilize the hole that's furthest from the winch and if you follow the cable straight down it will guide you right to the correct hole pull it through, put the nut on it like we did the other side bottom the nut right out and then we'll, uh, we'll pull the cables up when we're done with that and hook them up above the reason why I bottom the nuts out on here is there's less material sticking up when it does go into the galvanized plate. When you pull it up tight, there won't be a whole lot 
of stud coming up. There'll be less stud for the carriage to hit. So you want to get that nut, you know, like fully put onto the stud as far as possible, so it's not interfering with the carriage going down. Okay, now we're going to put the uh, corner plates, guide plates, we call them, on the corners. I've already got uh, the other three set up here. What we have is uh, there's a inch and a half bolt where it goes through the plastic there. I'll go ahead and show you what they go on here. I've got the plate here pretty much lined up. The holes here all line up. And the guide plate goes on like that. And our nuts and washers. So we'll go through the plastic. There's a shorter bowl. There's a 3 8 by 1. That's going to go where there's no plastic. Right there. And there's three places on the bottom. They go. So what you want to do is you'll, uh, you'll have five bolts up here and you have uh, five washers on top. You'll have a 3 8 by 1 right there. These are 3 8 by inch and a half with washers. And you'll have uh, 3 8 by 1's here. So what you can do is put all these on loose right now. You don't need to tighten them. When you're done, you'll want to make sure the carriage is about equal distance. The guide plate's equal distance from the column on all four corners. It's usually about a quarter inch. And then when you have that, it'll be kind of square with the frame, because we know the frame's square. And then go ahead and tighten all that stuff up. So, go ahead and do that. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, start putting the cables up. And what you're going to need is a washer and a uh, 5 8 nut. A washer for a 5 8 nut on the top. So, in the back, we're going to have two cables that go up. Here. Lower cable seated in the hole over there and it's uh, drawn all the way up. You always need to put washers on the top. You don't need them on the very bottom of the lift. The washers help distribute the load of the, uh, the cables. 